Hello everybody, I'm Bear Skills. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Long Dark. So we're back here again. It's been a while. Um uh, it's been a while, so still getting in the swing of things, still trying to get used to doing everything that we're used to doing back here on the Long Dark. Last episode went pretty well. Found some pretty good loot. And made our way through here. Um, there's actually another small little hidden piece of loot that I wanted to show you guys. A little hidden area. You can go for some loot. Not everybody knows about. I'm sure most of you guys know probably by now, but in case you're not, in case you're new to the game, or, you know, maybe you've never really been to Desolation, there's certain parts of the map I don't really go to, so I don't know much about them. Um, but right here, come to this tunnel. You can actually go here. Now, you can stand up and walk through here once you get through the entrance. Your head kind of clips through it a little bit. You can stand up and you can walk through the way. Now, I used to do that, but I actually had it one time where it glitched my whole game out and I lost my save for some reason. Like I lost my character in my run. It was not a good experience. So I just recommend crouching your way up here. I'll get a lantern so you guys can see a little bit better. But as you guys I'm sure already seen, there's some decent loot up here. So you got a granola bar can of orange soda, a reading book about guns. Now, it might just, and you got some other stuff over here, we got some revolver cartridges and antibiotics, and you might be like, oh, that's, you know, I know about this. Well, something that a lot of people don't seem to know about is there's stuff up here in the boat. See, there's that. Two things of condensed milk, which is really, really nice. Condensed milk is awesome. Very awesome. Um, the reason it's so awesome is because even though it is ruined, it gives you 750 calories. It only weighs about half a pound, which is about... Uh, yeah, it weighs the same amount as a soda can. It doesn't give as much water, I don't think. Like, it has much hydration back as like a soda can does. But it gives you way more food. Like, way more food. It's like drinking, like, Four sodas almost, or three, yeah, about three, three and a half sodas, roughly. So it's way better. And it just comes up, it's just, it, it just ends up being way better um, in almost every circumstance. Now, we're gonna head out here, we're gonna go back out the way we came in. And we're gonna drop off. Do I wanna do that right now, though? You know what? No, no, I don't. I'm gonna head up here. I'm gonna drop off some stuff we don't want to take with us. Uh, we'll drop off some food, obviously. These soda cans are something I don't really take with me a lot because they just don't really end up being too useful. In most regards, for how heavy they are. Peaches are really heavy for how much calories they give you. Ketchup chips are always nice. Hmm. And we can eat this uh, food like this. It's ruined. Got a big ol' X. We can still eat it because we have cooking level 5, which 25% calories from any cooked food item. No calorie loss when smashing open cans. Cooking times reduced by 30%. Ready times increased by 20%. And never get parasites or food poisoning. Now, normally, if you didn't have that, you would get food poisoning from eating this, like, instantly. So, we don't have to worry about that anymore, which is quite nice. Makes life a lot easier. Now, through here, we don't really need those, so don't need to take them with us. Now, medicine we want to keep, for the most part. Through here, we don't want to take. Drop that, we can drop these. And what else? What else? What else? We're over-encumbered a little bit, but not by a lot. It's actually not bad at all. We'll leave that stuff in there. Uh, if we need it, we'll come back. We'll probably stop by through here on the way home. But what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to head over... To this cave. Now! Um, this cave can be dangerous. Can be very risky. Many circumstances, many situations, because there is a wolf inside of it. 
Um, so it can be very, 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 very tricky to not get eaten by wolf. Um, and I'm probably gonna get mauled by him. Um, it's, I've basically considered that an almost definite. You should consider the fact you're almost always gonna get mauled by him. I'm starting to get foggy, which I do not appreciate. So just, yeah, just figure you're gonna get mauled by him. Because in, like, there's, like, no situation really in which you're not unless you get really lucky, usually. Is that stuff out there on the ice? Well, it's a stick there. Also, bear through here. Almost always one. You know, under that bridge is where we're headed, by the way. What is that, though, over there? That's what I'm curious about. That's a stick. I know that things can wash up on shore, but what is that? I thought it was a bunny rabbit at first, but it's not. Mm, there's a ravaged deer. Is that a can of food? That's actually a sapling. Oh, it's just a tin can. Yeah, a sapling and a tin can, not worth me jumping into the ice floor and getting super cold. And losing HP and all that stuff, especially considering I want to head in this cave. Something to keep in mind, though, is that the weather is pretty decent right now for us. It's not too bad. That's not good. Hmm, not good at all. Might have to stay in the cave with the old wolf. Huh, probably wouldn't be uh, too great, but to make do. I don't see the bear, so maybe we struck out some luck and we don't have to worry about them. I definitely hear a wolf, though. Somewhere between the, that direction, I'd say. Um, still could have one over here, out in the open. Uh, between us and the cave. It is a possibility. Uh, we might have a blizzard roll in. Fog's getting pretty, uh, pretty bad. But we have everything we need to, to live, no matter, like, really, no matter what. Um... Rabbit dead up there, which means there's a wolf, which means we're safe to keep going, for the most part. Seen a wolf over there, just barely glimpsed him walking. But you heard the rabbit scream, somewhere up through there I'd say, probably. Shouldn't have to worry about a wolf through here at this point. Uh, I don't think so, I don't see one. Yeah, we should be clear. Should be clear. We got firewood out here if we need it. I doubt we will. Um. Hmm. Huh. But we did get a flare, which is very useful for us. We want this. Very much so. All right. So this is the cave. Oh boy, now this part gets really dangerous. Very dark, as you guys can see. Very, very dark. We're gonna light this. Because we can see now. Oh, and we're also going to drink this. It gives us 30 minutes of energy boost. Now, the reason I took that is in case we get into a struggle with the wolf. I don't want to be low on energy. Now, um, you're pretty safe to come through here to this point. Usually I don't really ever encounter the wolf through here. You can see there's bones in here from the wolf. Uh, if you go to there, that's the rifle. And I believe you can go up there if you sneak and you want to take your time. You can go through there and never have to deal with the wolf. But we're going to go deal with the wolf because I'm an idiot. And that's what we're going to do. So as you guys can hear, wolf there. Alright, well we missed a bunch and didn't get anything accomplished. Fantastic. Alright, now this is basically what I like to do. Alright, I used a little bit more ammunition than I probably should have there. Not really worried about it though. 
So what I'm gonna do? Reload. Drop the shell casings. Clip the flare. He's not gonna do anything. We hit him, so he'll bleed out and die. So we don't have to worry about him anymore. Um, there's actually a piece of venison steak here. Better take this food. That's ruined, but it's still edible for us. Um, we got a deer here. Now the deer spawns can be random. Sometimes you can have one here, one there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down and up. Go down eventually, Mr. Wolf. Um, you can have a deer here. You can have a deer through here, and then you can also have one back here in this little cave section. So keep that in mind. We dealt with the wolf. Um, basically, I'd take a flare with you if you have the ability to. Chuck it down. Not enough to scare him, but just enough to where you kind of see him. He shouldn't charge you. And then you have like a gun or something to take care of him. You can use the rifle if it's there. Uh, we're gonna go check in just a second. Is this up, it's up there. As you guys can see, this guy fell down, dropped a candy bar, his cotton toque, backpack. It's like ketchup chips in it, not bad. But as you guys can see, there's a rifle cartridge running shoes. A rifle cartridge right here. And there's also a 100% flare there as well. So it's good stuff to know. Now, I don't really care about the wolf right now. He'll hang out and do his own thing. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Um, but we're going to head up and check for the rifle. He might run up there, but at this point, he's not really going to get on us. Well, he did run up there. Uh, but he's going to be pretty spooked for the most part, especially with our flare. We don't actually have to worry about it. He's going to go right past us. Um, but when you have the uh, wolf up here, just kind of figure the chances of you getting mauled are really high for the most part. And have a flare with you. You should be okay for the most part. But you can sneak up here and, got the, and get the rifle and get out. If the rifle's up here, you can check at least. I've done it multiple times successfully. As long as you're careful, you can usually get out. A few cartridges up here. And as you guys can see, rifle's right here. Just what I need. 89% not a bad rifle to find, truly. Not bad at all to find. Now, my theory is basically this rifle is static here and will always be here because it's kind of like story, a bit of lore. Um, you'll never really find, there's only this and one other location that you'll find a wolf inside at the cannery. Yeah, that's the cannery. The cannery and Bleak Inlet where you have like the milling station and whatnot. You can find a wolf there, inside there, and that wolf used to be in the Carterhydra Dam, but they changed that. Um, they put that wolf there, uh, but there's also a wolf here. And I really don't see this cave talked about much, but I have a feeling it's something to do with lore. Basically, the guy that down there fell and died. Wolf was in here. He was up here, had his rifle. Didn't get the job done. Fell down, died, dropped the rifle there. So I'm pretty sure there's always a rifle spawn. I've never come here. I mean, bearing st uh, like you know, interloper and whatnot. But I've never come here on stalker or less not uh, found a rifle. So I'm pretty sure it's a pretty much guaranteed spawn. Nah, he'll be, he'll be kind of. Eh. Now he might, uh, you know, he might try to maul you while he's injured the way he is right now. Um, I've had him do it before. Hey, right, look at that. Um, and if he does, if you have a hatchet or a heavy hammer, he's not really going to do a lot to you. Now, we drew some blood. He didn't draw any blood from us. Um, he barely took our condition at all. Partly because we had the hatch, and partly because he's so injured. So keep that in mind, that is a nice showcase there, that he will attack you eventually. So you're not 100% safe. But you can sneak in and out without any issue for the most part. And if you're super worried, you could have the flare and you could build a fire and just stick around the fire until he finally bleeds out and dies. If you're really worried about it. Or you could whack him, step back outside. Looks like the fog cleared up decent amount too, which is nice for us. Wind picked up though, which is not good. Blizzard will be rolling in soon. Try and get around here where we have some protection from the wind so we're not moving as slow. 
But yeah, if you're worried, you could you could go in, do what I did, crack him, and then you could run out immediately. Wait outside, build a snow shelter, something like that, or simply come back a different day. You know, whatever you'd like to do. But I've never come here and not found a rifle. So if you're having a tough time finding a rifle and you happen to be near or in Desolation Point and not found one yet, definitely come check out this cave. Always underneath this broken bridge here, past the Riken and the Whaling processing plant. It's always past here under this broken bridge. It's very hard to miss once you know it's here. I actually didn't know it was here for a long period of time of me playing this game. Because as you guys know, I'm not the best long guard player by far. But people way better, <laughs> way better than me at this game. Um, who survived really, really impressively long time periods. Like, I think some people have made it past a thousand days, which is insane. Um, really good job. You know, people make it three, a year or 500 days on Interloper, which is the hardest difficulty. I'm only on the second hardest, which is Stalker. Uh, but yeah, this bridge. I didn't know about it for a long time, but I was exploring the area, and I was like, huh, wonder what's under there. Went and explored and found the cave. Nice place. And, yeah, but it does have a wolf in it, so just kind of assume that you're going to get hit by the wolf. So I figured I would, and the wolf did hit me there. Of course, I could have popped another flare and avoided it, or could have... I could have done measures to avoid it, but I knew he was going to be injured, and I wasn't worried about taking any damage. You got a lot of wolves through here, which normally is a bad thing. Uh, but we got the wolves here. Come on, Mr. Wolf. It's time. Double tap. Sorry, Mr. Wolf. I'm not dinner for you. Hey, level four uh, revolver. Whew, that was a total of four wolves. And the bear. There's the bear up there, as you guys can see. Don't want to mess with angry bear. Angry bear is angry. So we're going to head up here. I'm tempted to try and shoot the bear. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? I'm gonna try. Did I hit him? No. Hmm. Uh-oh, here comes a wolf. Go away, Mr. Wolf. I don't want any part of what you have to sell. Nothing like that. Huh, you're kind of being a pain, Mr. Bear. Are just going through them at this point, I think. Just make sure there's a door there. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Took me way too many bolts to do that, but I wanted to make sure I hit him so he'd go bleed out. Definitely don't want to deal with him at any point in time in the future. Uh, no, I, normally if I was going to stay here for a long period of time, I would take the time to have lured him to a better location. Or even just do what I kind of did there, and uh, then once he's injured, go track him down before he bleeds out, and then bring him to where I want him to go. Either way, we're, ooh, peanut butter. Either way works fine for the most part. Um, generally, I would say that taking him to the spot you want matches. Nice. Take them to a spot you want and then injuring them, depending on the location. If it's a nice place where they can't get to you and you can crouch, Hope nobody needs this anymore. it works better. And it's not always reliable. As you guys have watched some of my previous videos on how I got to cooking level 5 so fast, um, it was due to bear and hunting them very effectively over in Mystery Lake. Um, it works out really well, but occasionally they are going to run, they're not going to comply, and you're going to have to... Well, you know, you're going to have to lure them back once they're injured, which 
then basically it's just how close can you get them before they finally bleed out. You know, so it's always something to consider. I got a truck here that I can loot really quick here. This pack is getting too heavy to delicious. carry. Heavy on the water supply though, so you gotta be careful of that. And yeah, that, that pretty much covers the cave. Um, so really nice. Like I said, you could easily have done the cave uh, without encountering the wolf. It just takes a little bit of time and patience because, you know, crouching this game moves extremely slow. Um, but it, it can be done if you're worried about getting hit by the wolf. And if you're not, you can just kind of just run in there and do whatever. But I'd recommend taking a flare if you have it. And then put the flare down. Shooting if you don't have a flare, build a fire. And if you're extra worried, have a flare and a fire at the same time. And make sure you have enough firewood for a few hours. And you should be pretty much okay. And I wouldn't recommend doing it during an aurora. I've never tested it myself. I don't know if a wolf indoors gets buffed when there's an aurora going on. But I would never step foot inside of a cave in an enclosed area with a wolf. Not knowing that for sure. Because wolves and bear that are buffed by the aurora are insane. Basically, if you get hit by him, you're going to die. So, at least in my experience. So, it's a no-go for sure. Um, let's have... We need to eat and drink. And we need to sleep as well. So, let's have our eat. Some crackers. Should pretty much do us for the night, but we'll have a little less on some extra. Uh, how about... Die if I don't drink something soon. Some crackers, and how about a chocolate bar, just to spice things up a little bit. And then we'll drink some water, and we'll head to bed for a nice, relaxing sleep. Alright. 11 hours of sleep, here we come. Probably won't get to sleep the full 11 hours, probably weren't quite tired enough for that, but we'll get to sleep quite a bit. And it is dark, so let's we'll do a little bit of passing of the time. I want to get to where I can actually see some in daylight. I don't want to light my lantern with this. Plus, I don't want to step foot outside if it's too dark and I can't really do anything. It should be about perfect. And we'll eat this piece of jerky. We're going to drink a little bit more. We're going to sleep like an hour or two. Just to give us a little extra bit of rest we need. All I can think about is food. There we go. That should cover things quite well. And let me just check really quick just to see how we're doing, make sure everything's recording properly. Everything is recording properly, which is nice. Nice. Glad it is. Just having issues earlier. Like I said in the last video, and I didn't want that to keep occurring. Ah, <sighs> alright, so you're gonna need to eat hmm. some. Is there anything we wanted to keep with us? I think we mostly just dropped food here. Yeah, food and water. Nothing really that too important. So we're going to make our way over towards the light uh, lighthouse. That's where we want to go. Depending on the weather, of course. Which, the weather's not too bad. It's definitely manageable. Definitely, definitely very manageable. No fog, no real blizzard. A little snow. Not necessarily clear skies out there. Other than that, though, that ain't bad. Still not seeing much of a deer through these parts, and usually I find a lot, a lot of deer. So, not sure why that is. But, you know. Alright, we basically just need to head this way towards the lighthouse up there on the hill. And we should be pretty set to. Get ready to leave the area. I looted much of pretty much everything we needed through here. As far as I can tell, there might be a location or two that we haven't been to. Actually, yeah, there is a couple places. Uh, what's your name? There's a last stand of somebody where you can get a bow. I don't remember the name. Is it uh, something like Stacy's last stand? Oh, look, there's a deer over there. See that? Ah, I knew there was deer through here. Nice. Um, Stacy Glass stands. Uh, ah, what is it? Something like that. Something similar. 
somebody's last stand. So yeah, figure that out. Um, we'll have we'll definitely head there. Might get a bow. Might get some free arrows. I never say no to free arrows. Or well, eh, the arrow shafts don't even matter to me. But the free arrowheads is what nice, nice. We'll check out this vehicle over here. This truck. Since it's on the way. And the weather, for the most part, is staying pretty good. We were a little chilly there, but we we're starting to warm up. Which is always good. And we'll need to eat at some point. But I probably don't need to worry about it till tonight. And usually I run starvation mode, unless I'm trying to... With a lot of gear, fire up in the kit, and a mountaineering rope. I don't really know what I'd need that for. This is Matt's truck, by the way. You guys can see in the top left there. Stale jerky. Well, why not? I'll take some stale jerky. Cooking level 5 means I can eat even bad jerky. Weather is starting to get a little bit poorer, though. Snow's coming in a bit heavier. A bit denser. Looks like a uh, blizzard might roll in, possibly. It, it, it could be a possibility. Which means we're going to want to get up to the lighthouse as fast as possible. Just to make sure nothing bad happens. We don't get lost. We don't get too cold. No frostbite. By the way, there's a train going by, guys. So if you guys do hear that and it comes through, I do apologize for that in advance. I'm not sure if it does. Sometimes it... I don't know. It's like sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't, it seems. Um, sometimes it seems to be a lot quieter coming through on the mics. So I don't really know when it comes through or not, until after I'm done recording the video, so I do apologize if it comes through pretty loud. Um, I think we can come up here. I think we're able to slide up this path. Ah, oh, come on, there we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I got some fog up there as well, so... Gotta be careful. Yeah, fog's definitely rolling in. Blizzard territory is on the, uh, rise. Potentially. Definitely not where I want to be traveling long distances. There's actually a wolf down there eating a deer. Good on him getting him dinner. Good wolf. As you guys can see down there, there's a wolf eating a deer. Where can I find nice. something to eat? I won't take a shot at that distance. I probably shouldn't have wasted all those rounds on the bear <laughs> at that long of a distance, but. You never know. I never really use the revolver more than I necessarily have to. Sometimes. But sometimes you just want to give a few shots out. And we have so many. I mean, we still got like 100 and, like, what, 30 back here at home? 100 and... I think we took like 12. So we still got like 100 back here. And I believe we still left some at Mystery and other places like that. So... I <laughs> like we're going to run out anytime soon. Plus, the whole reason that we're... Heading to Bleak Inlet in the next while here is to make ammunition, and we need the shell casings, which means we need to use up the ammo. And at the rate I use ammo, it'd be a long time before I was able to make enough to really get anywhere. So, because the first ammo you start making uh, comes out pretty trash, you have to do it quite a bit, and then you start making good ammo that's really nice, basically the quality that you have now. Uh, so it takes quite a bit of ammo crap to get there. And I'd like to get the skill level 5, because why not? Might as well. But hey, we're here at the lighthouse. We can step inside here. And, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So if you guys did like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, it does help the channel out. And, yeah, definitely subscribe if you're new and you want to see more content like this. And if you guys have any tips, tricks, guidance, suggestions, or advice, or just anything you'd like to say in general down in the comments below, definitely feel free to, and I will... Definitely make sure I respond as soon as I possibly can. I generally respond within 24 hours, if not sooner. So, hope to see you guys in my next video.